there's there's so many things to talk about for this game that are that are new in the tournament that we haven't seen uh, up until the grand final. We've got for the first time we have zone Samel a little bit, but needs to be careful. PVD is already, as they know, Samel needs to get out of here. He's he slowed down the stun. It's not going to connect. Oh, but Samel still so low on life. It's going to be first blood going the way of Cdex. Attack, however, and Cdex, in fact, they've only got another three seconds left of this smoke before it's going to wear off. And in fact, the smoke is going to break because Fear's sitting in the tree line. So, uh, no joy for it, but they're still going to charge him. And what can Fear really do? He can do a call down. Owie, the Sonic Wave doesn't kill him. Sealed up over the Queen of Pain, but it's got to be mopped up by Fear. Looking for another one. No blink. Six seconds of peep, and he will hold him here. EG take two kills. And then Z, he's trapped in the tree line. He wants to charge out. Do they have a stun? Hookshot from Universe is up and running. And he lashes him in the tree line. The seal is there. And XZ will die in the trees. It's three for nothing. The smoke Radiant gang took so long from C deck, they tried to force the issue. And it was he wants just to hook shot down the spirit breaker, allowing some male to jump himself across the river. And then you hook shot down, and the cogs are gonna push him back. Not the perfect initiation. Now they can try and turn around with the first misses. You do commit the tennis strike, and Universe trying to get out with the mystic flare. The sonic wave will at least kill off the clockwork. And EG needs to back out. Then again, C deck does. So male back in. A huge call down from Fear. They're gonna take one, they're gonna take two, a double for the gyro. And now they can have pressure towards the tier one tower. It's going to be the SMY build from him. And there goes that observer, what I was talking about. The PPD will mop up with the help of the Satter. And Cedek are waiting for him. The SB actually is going to charge in some mail. Ball lightning's away. And now it could be PPD with a frostbite trying to catch him out of position. The Orchid is up for some mail so early. Can guarantee a kill on the Spirit Breaker. And they might look for more here. That regeneration rune has been triggered by some Alan Universe. The hook shot in, catching out Garda. The call out will be there too. They cannot help the pony. You'll lose with the Wyvern as well. It's three for nothing. EG are rampaging through game number one of the TI5. Samal would have ensured that. Maybe miscalculation there. Looked like he let him live. He, he did. A little bit of mercy there. He definitely had time oh, for middle lane. Attack. You actually got the CM ulti going down to blink out from Shiki. The Bial survived. Universe initiated him with that hook shot. And now they're trying to fight against the pal, but aggressive. Sealed up the Mystic Flare, burning through the PL. One chance can't keep him alive. Not when the call down connects. Sonic Wave will not do enough. Samal's back to the fight, but not enough mana. But then again, we went to Wyvern. Locked in control. They find the pick up on him. Moving to the next target. Down to Garda. He ends up getting golden rocketed down by EG. While Mercy might have been great. I might have some issues. Queen of Pain just pick, picked up an Orchid. So the Queen of Pain now finally has a Disable against the Storm. But I also wonder then, what is our next item for the Storm? And it's already answered. He's got a Bloodstone recipe. So that's his next target. Lashrak, that's not a healthy place to be. Universe fighting with the jungle at the same time. TL may not let this go unpunished. Universe wants to run away, but it's not going to happen until Storm surmounts in. He gets the Orchid on the PL. It looked like an instant kill for Universe, and now it's going to be a double kill for Surveil. Three down in the jungle, and EG once again. Like he got a full BKB as well, 25 minutes in, to go with his SMY. Or the Orchid from Storm. And then the Bloodstone follow-up, and with the death of Roshan, that's the full Bloodstone done, and the Aegis, the Immortal. It's a, it's a difficult question to answer because a BKB definitely helps. Oh, long jump up, found two. Sans is a spirit breaker, so we can kill off one. In comes Universe, cancelling the TP out. It's a two for. What? He's got regeneration, he's got immunity, and the SMY is everything a good gyro needs. Yeah, this might be the game winning push. If EG take a good fight here, how many buybacks does CDC even have? They have none. Nothing up, That's nothing about what it is going to come. The hook shot, they catch out the spirit break and the cold out to the perfect position. Fear turning on the flat cannon. So much build damage to Mal once more, and he's going to find more. There goes your Winter Wyvern, your PL, heavily injured. All they can do is just sit back as well and heal up while they lose. They lose their buildings on the bottom lane. The tier 3 tower is gone. The melee racks will join it. And what can Cedek even do to stop this? With no other tier 2 towers out in the map, EG can just move from one lane to another inside. Need to find something. They get the magical DD rune on bot lane. Dire of no vision, so they can take this. And they're actually waiting under the cover of smoke. It's a very tempting thing to actually go for this. They're gonna charge in some mail, being pushed back and walking off. They're gonna turn around, but now Universe walks on in some mail. Almost dead, he is dead. Where's your buyback? Here she comes. The TP's the T1 towers. Two hero 
Harris down already. This could be it. The money will let EG win this fight. They kind of want it anyway with the amount of damage the fear has Storm. Jumping all the way back up again. They find aggressive. Queen of Pain the only one up. It fell at the last hope, and it was. EG will take game one in the TI5 Grand Final from what looked like an unstoppable CDE scene. They just got counterplayed really hard in this game. Usually the smoke ganks work out in the early game and they find the key kills they use to snowball the game, but in this case, EG read the map very well. They take a lot of initiative themselves with the Storm as well as the Clockwork. Very well executed game by them. Terrific Dota from Evil Geniuses. C-Deck will have a moment to think about what is just...